in the heart of Miami's Little Havana is where Miami's finest go to play the game of the city. During her game of dominoes, Maria tells me why she believes Hispanics vote the way they do. Yo pienso que tanto Latino como el Americano queremos que sea un país floreciente, que haya trabajo, pero también tenemos seguridad, porque nosotros estamos emigrando de nuestro país, ¿por qué? Porque no tenemos seguridad. Bueno, este estado tiene una política fuerte, fuerte, de cero tolerancia. ¿Me entiendes? Estoy muy de acuerdo con esa política, muy de acuerdo. It's Cuban Americans like Antonio that have been helping Florida move from a purple state to a red state. Experts like Sebastián Arcos with the Cuban Research Institute at Florida International University explain that in 2014, only 53% of Cuban Americans were registered Republicans, the lowest majority ever seen. But things have changed. After 18, that changed dramatically. I mean, really dramatically. What we have seen after 18 is that there is a resurgence of interest on the Republican Party. According to FIU's Cuba poll for 2022, a survey that is conducted every two years, while Cubans only make up 0.7% of America's population, they are 7.2% of Florida's and 35.9% of Miami-Dade's. Other Hispanic groups like Venezuelans and Nicaraguans account for 17.5% of voters nationwide, 18.6% of Florida's voters, and 32.4% of Miami-Dade's. Research also shows that Cuban Americans tend to be the most red-leaning, with 51.6% in Florida registered to the Republican Party, while other Hispanics only amount to 16.3%. But the other nationalities have also been making a slow sway towards conservative, a choice Eduardo Gamaria has been studying. Vote on the basis of two factors. One, what Washington says about their home country, right? And two, what's going on in their home country. So the question is, how important is the Hispanic vote in this 2024 presidential election? Both experts believe in Florida, the vote won't hold as much weight as Florida is already a red state. But nationally, the different subgroups of Hispanics have different voting patterns that could make all the difference. You're gonna have a high rate of naturalization on the part of Colombians who are already, there are more Colombian citizens than immigrants, right? Venezuelans, who now are about maybe 75, 80,000 voters here, they'll grow significantly because there's over 300,000 in the state. Going forward, you're going to have many more, right, Mexicans who will become citizens in, in the state and who may be a, a factor. And they trend blue, right? And then Puerto Ricans who may have voted for DeSantis, right, in 2022. But that's a group that has historically been uh, Democratic. The more contentious issue is when given the choice between Governor Ron DeSantis and former President Donald Trump, two candidates heavily favored by conservative Hispanics, who would the vote be more inclined for? FIU's poll asked more than 1,000 Cuban Americans which Republican candidate they would want to see on the 2024 presidential ballot. 37% said Trump and 21% said DeSantis. However, both experts believe DeSantis, when factoring all Hispanic subgroups, may actually become the victor. Yet they don't want others to think Hispanics are a set-in-stone conservative vote. There are Hispanics not affiliated with a party. In Florida, that's 27.1% of Cubans and 42.7% of other Hispanics. And there are those who are Democrat, 21.3% of Cubans, 40.9% of other Hispanics. You know, we were tired of the mega influence into our culture and our communities and the lack of representation of the many Latinos, you know, Cuban Americans included, that don't agree with, you know, this ultra right, right wing ideology. Cubanos Palante is a group created after the 2020 election to try and give a voice to the minority of Hispanics in Florida who vote blue. It just takes a coordinated effort to knock on doors, meet people where they are, and, you know, show where we can make an impact. Juan Barrera, who immigrated to Miami in the 1980s from Venezuela, considers himself an independent. It's very important for what one wants, you have to vote for. But as far as the two potential GOP contenders, they have support, 
at this table. Sophia Hernandez, Florida 24 Network.